Hello and welcome, my name is Ray Richie and welcome back to a brand new video. If you are new to this channel, my name is Ray Richie. I'm a free time songwriter slash producer on the channel. We break down the production of songs as well as the songwriting aspects. Today we have another team in song. It's really crazy. This man is putting out so much music in such a short period of time. It is really incredible. I've seen he's also put out his second half of his full album. The first half we already reacted to. So if you want to go and check that out, you can. I will try to also check out the second part somewhat soon might take a little bit longer than uh, with the first part so today we have uh, idea which apparently was produced by the web producers or something that's something that i heard and the top line has been written and the melody has been written by adrian mckinnon which you might be familiar with because he has written a lot of top line of Tamin. and he's a really good songwriter yeah he has written some of my favorite songs so i'm definitely looking forward to this one as well right here so let's dive into it straight away there we go not my telephone this time, not my telephone. Ooh. Okay, interesting instrumentation so far. We have some filtered out drums, I would say, and then this nice little synth there in the background, like meow, meow. <laughs> Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, interesting. Also, very interesting drum sound. It seems like they have layered like a clap with like um, a tambourine or something, or like some other like instrument. That's in there. Okay, cool. Those background vocals are really like carrying here. Ooh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We are going back for a second there. So you will notice that they cut out the entire instrumental before the chorus and then they really hit you hard with that bass. Before we didn't have that obvious of a bass, I think there might be like a sub bass in those parts but not like a super hard hitting bass, uh, neither like a super hard hitting kick drum. You are my man. Me. And then also this seems like, I don't know if this is like his voice pitched up or if it is a different voice but... And then the synth melody, okay. And then you can hear uh, they have like a brass step on top of that, of that hard hitting bass, like boom. Uh. Very interesting drums like that they're using there, like tsh, tsh, tsh. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds like some distorted percussion element. Now bringing in hi-hats for the second half. Wait, I'm really curious, like, how they made that vocal. It's like a post-chorus, I would assume. Also, this vocal, it's like also a very, very heavily edited vocal. You can uh, hear it sounds kind of like it is in a in a box, you know. They're cutting out very specific frequencies to, to achieve that kind of effect there. Ooh. And then a very interesting transition here. So what you will see in like uh, most modern productions is that they use a lot of these sweepers and risers to transition into another section to make it as smooth as possible. But uh, that was not their intention here. So they actually cut instantly into that section without any transition effects and making it super surprising. And so that's a, an interesting choice. And I think it, it probably fits the purpose here because they wanted that section to come in really surprisingly. At this time, uh, we don't only have those chords, those synthesizers, but we also have that melody uh, that we had earlier coming in for the second part of the verse. This time we have it straight from the first part of the second half. And now we have a riser, for example, right there, like... Great, creating tension. 
Okay, there is. Okay, that is a really interesting song structure actually. So it seems like we went into the chorus, but we didn't get the chorus melody, which is this ma a a melody that we get now. And then we went into somewhat the verse section for like 20 seconds. And then we are going back into the chorus, but this time we get the chorus a melody. That's just, that's like really interesting actually. I'm not sure if I've seen that before. <laughs> Obviously, those strings there are super cool, like that up, that up, super dramatic. Oh. So the first section was just completely different, if I'm not wrong. So that this is like also a new, a new post chorus. So that's like a super interesting uh, chorus here. Oh, like the, 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 the piano melody, like brim, brim. Uh, snap, nice. Uh, and those background vocals, he's killing it with those background vocals in every track, I feel like. Once again, uh, a riser there, but the riser is like, it's also like side-chained, or like there's an effect on it, and it's like ducking down, like it's going like choop, choop. Like it's stopping for a second and then it's like continuing. Clap coming in, the synth melody. I love this melody here in the verse. So they're adding in their little bit more background vocals. I'm not sure if the melod melody actually stayed the same here for, for the pre-chorus. <laughs> but that part right here is super awesome with the vocals coming in there. Okay. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling the chorus now. To be honest, like the first time I was like kind of skeptical, but now, you know, it grew on me. Like, I like it now. And now with some ad lib vocals coming in there. Another variation, basically, if you want so. Oh, this vocal there, there once again, they, they have this vocal in there. They also had within the pre-chorus when they uh, had no instruments going and then they dropped into the chorus, like this high pitched vocal. Once again, I'm really curious whether this is like Taemin's vocal pitched up or if it's someone else vocal or like how they made that effect. Killing me softly. Yeah, so it sounds kind of like a, like a female vocal, but I don't think it is a real like vocal that actually sounds like that it's it sounds more like it's pitched up uh, which means that uh, it is artificial and still human i mean it's kind of both you know just a edited vocal of a real human being How do they end this? And then they're ending with that phrase there. Okay. All right, interesting. Ooh. That is a new sound for the SM logo, isn't it? But anyways, that is a really new and cool sound, I would say, for, for a team in song. Uh, obviously, it still has a very similar idea behind it with those heavy emphasis on those bass rhythms within the chorus but um 
it's a different sound, I would say. A different sound for sure, which I think is cool. Very contrasting sections. I'm uh, very interested in seeing what other tracks there are on the album. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, see you guys in another video. Stay safe and healthy and have a nice day. Goodbye.